Hi, I'm David. Uh, I'm a research software engineer at the University of Manchester. Um, and today I was going to talk to you about um, the sort of process I've been using when I'm trying to do abstracts and papers to make them reproducible. Um, I spent struggling with a title for it, and I thought, well, actually, we're treat I'm treating the paper as a piece of software, essentially. So that's how I came up with that title. Um, and what I'm generally doing is um, using a package in R called NISA, which will basically let you um, insert um, code. Um, R is sort of natively supporting you can use Python or other uh, languages. Uh, and insert it with bits of LaTeX. Um, so you end up with this markdown doc, this um, this document, sorry, which has um, got uh, code LaTeX um, in it. You press go, and out pops a paper. Hopefully, um, it's got. An, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, it has a big advantage that if make, if you sort of end up changing your analysis plan, everything updates when you uh, regenerate the paper. Um, you can put your data in Zenodo, for example, so you've got that reproducible. Um, you can call, you know, be doing your analysis in Docker images uh, and putting the results of those in the paper. Um, and of course, the whole thing can then live in, um, in a Git repository in GitHub, so people can see it, modify it, see what you've done. The whole process is completely um, transparent, um, and people can take it and um, <coughs> modify it if they want. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. It's the advantage of transparency, reproducibility, and extensibility. Thanks very much.